going? Yeah, Good morning, on. everybody. Uh, it's David and Cheryl here, and welcome this morning. We're going to give people an opportunity uh, just at this time to uh, follow us with morning prayer and also evening prayer tonight. So we'll keep doing this each day. We'll do other things also, which we'll put on YouTube for you to look at and hopefully just, just to keep us all connected together. Uh, I just ask you also, if anybody has any needs and they want to share those needs with other people, you can let me know and we can, we can perhaps mention that on YouTube or whatever it might be as well and pray for one another in that way. Yes, yeah, so send in your prayer requests. So send in prayer requests. So we're on Monday morning with morning prayer and uh, you just follow us through. We've got a couple of readings here and uh, soon we'll be finished and any other announcements, uh, we'll mention those at the end too. So let's begin with morning prayer. Uh, if you've got a prayer book, it's on page 390. I'll just give you 20 seconds to grab a <laughs> prayer book, green prayer book, and if you want to follow through, if you've got one. So let's do that. <clears throat> Okay, okay, let's, uh, let's begin this morning with morning prayer. God's love has been poured into our hearts. Through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forevermore. Amen. And so what we'll do is we'll do alternate verses in this canticle. Um, so I'll begin and uh, again with uh, alternate verses. I will sing a new hymn to my God. O oh Lord, you are great and marvellous. You are marvellous in your strength, invincible. Let the whole creation serve you, for you spoke and all things came to be. You sent out your spirit and it formed them. No one can resist your voice. Mountains and seas are stirred to their depths. Rocks melt like wax at your presence. But to those who revere you, you still show mercy. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and one mind. And together, as, as we, we rejoice, rejoice in the gift of this new day, day so, so may the light of your presence, O oh God, set our hearts on fire with, with love for you, now and forever. forever. Amen. And now we come to our psalm for the morning, which is Psalm 54, which is on page 276. Psalm 54, page 276. So what we'll do there is, uh, again, we'll read by alternate verses when I can find it. Psalm 54. Save me, O God, by the power of your name, and vindicate me by your might. Hear my prayer, O God, and listen to the word of my mouth. For the insolent have risen against me. The ruthless who have not set God before them seek my life. But surely God is my helper. The Lord is the upholder of my life. Let evil recoil on those that would waylay me. O destroy them in your faithfulness. Then I will offer you sacrifice with a willing heart. I will praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. For you will deliver me from every trouble. My eyes shall see the downfall of my enemies. Creator Spirit, advocate, advocate promised by our Lord Jesus, increase our faith and help us to walk in the light of your presence to the glory of God the Father through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now we have two readings, so Sean will read Jeremiah 36, 1 to 19. So if you'd like to follow along. Jeremiah 36, 1 to 19. I'm reading from the NRSV. The scroll read in the temple. In the fourth year of King Jehoiakim, son of Josiah of Judah, this word came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Take a scroll and write on it all the words that I have spoken to you against Israel and Judah and all the nations from the day I spoke to you 
from the days of Josiah until now. It may be that when the house of Judah hears of all the disasters that I intend to do to them, all of them may turn from their evil ways so that I may forgive their iniquity and their sin. Then Jeremiah called Barak son of Neriah and Barak wrote on a scroll at Jeremiah's dictation all the words the Lord had spoken to him. And Jeremiah ordered Barak saying, I am prevented from entering the house of the Lord. So you go yourself and on a fast day in the hearing of the people in the Lord's house, you shall read the words of the Lord from the scroll that you have written at my dictation. You shall read them also in the hearing of all the people of Judah who come up from their towns. It may be that their plea will come before the Lord and that all of them will turn from their evil ways for great is the anger and the wrath that the Lord has pronounced against his people. And Barak son of Neriah did all that the prophet Jeremiah ordered him about reading from the scroll the words of the Lord in the house of the Lord. In the fifth year of King Jehoiakim, son of Josiah of Judah, in the ninth month, all the people of Jerusalem and all the people who came from the towns of Judah to Jerusalem proclaimed a fast before the Lord. Then in the hearing of all the people, Barak read the words of Jeremiah from the scroll in the house of the Lord in the chamber of Jemariah, son of Shaphan, the secretary, which was in the upper court at the entry of the new gate of the Lord's house. When Micaiah, son of Gemariah, son of Shaphan, heard all the words of the Lord from the scroll, he went down to the king's house into the secretary's chamber and all the officials were sitting there. Elishema, the secretary, Deriah, son of Shemaiah, Al-Nathan and Akbor, Jeremiah's son of Shaphan, Zedekiah son of Hananiah and all the officials and Micaiah said, told them all the words that he had heard when Barak read the scroll in the hearing of the people. Then all the officials sent Jehudi son of Nethaniah son of Shalemiah son of Cushi to say to Barak Bring the scroll that you read in the hearing of the people and come. So Barak, son of Neriah, took the scroll in his hand and came to them. And they said to him, sit down and read it to us. So Barak read it to them. When they heard all the words, they turned to one another in alarm and said to Barak, we certainly must report all these words to the king. Then they questioned Barak, tell us now, how did you write all these words? Was it at his dictation? Barak answered them, he dictated all these words to me and I wrote them with ink on this scroll. Then the officials said to Barak, go and hide you and Jeremiah and let no one know where you are. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So our second reading is from Luke's Gospel, uh, Luke's Gospel, chapter 18, verses 1 to 14. <clears throat> the parable of the widow and the unjust judge and the parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector. Then Jesus told them a parable about their need to pray always and not to lose heart. He said, in a certain city, there was a judge who neither feared God nor had respect for people. In that city, there was a widow who kept coming to him and saying, grant me justice against my opponent. For a while he refused, but later he said to himself, though I have no fear of God and no respect for anyone, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will grant her justice so that she may not wear me out by continually coming. 
And the Lord said, Listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God grant justice to his chosen ones who cry to him day and night? Will he delay long in helping them? I tell you, he will quickly grant justice to them. And yet when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? He also told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and regarded others with contempt. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and, and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee, standing by himself, was praying thus, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, thieves, rogues, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, I give a tenth of all my income. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even look up to heaven, but was beating his breast and saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his home justified rather than the other, for all who exalt themselves will be humbled, and all who humble themselves will be exalted. For the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So Cheryl's just had to answer the door for a moment, but let's continue. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Now the song of Isaiah, a canticle here on page 391. Uh, let's say this together. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. On that day you will say, Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the nations. Proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing God's praises who has triumphed gloriously. Let this be known in all the world. Shout and sing for joy, you that dwell in Zion. For great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. We'll go to prayers now. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. As we uh, come to prayer time now, uh, let's remember Bev, uh, who's been tested for coronavirus. Uh, let's remember those who are struggling with coronavirus, those who've lost loved ones uh, recently. So let's uh, pause for prayer at this stage. Lord, we come to you in prayer today. Uh, at this very difficult time in the world, uh, a world where we're in unprecedented times and struggles and, un and times of uncertainty. But Lord, we, we have the certainty of this, that we are your people and that you are our God and that we are destined to be with you for eternity. We bring to you this morning, Bev, Lord, uh, who has been tested now for the coronavirus, and we ask that your healing hand would be on her and that she would know your love at, at this time. And we pray for all of those, Lord, who uh, have coronavirus around the world, uh, their loved ones, Lord, who may be struggling, especially the loved ones who have lost um, uh, those, uh, those they love through coronavirus. We bring them to you, Lord, and may this be a time, in this time of struggle, in this time of pain and suffering, Lord, when your glory will shine, that people will come to know you as someone who cares and loves them. Lord, we bring uh, St. Luke's, St. John's to you this morning, our, world, our people. Uh, at this time, as though we are uh, separate physically, Lord, may you bring us, keep us in great unity, Lord. And may your light continue to shine through us, we pray. We ask for your love for us, Lord, as we struggle. We're aware, Lord, that um, we cannot do what we need to do in our own strength, what needs to be done. So may, Lord, your strength be with us. 
We're on page, um, we're on page 391, but we're going to pray the Lord's Prayer together here. <clears throat> so you can find a copy of the Lord's Prayer on page 124. We accept our prayers through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. And now we're coming to the end now and we'll pray together our morning collect on page 392. Let us pray. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit, that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but a spirit of power and of love and of self-discipline. May we rekindle the gift of God within us. Amen. Amen. So we've had to just hurry the end of this a little bit because we've um, got the workmen here now to continue on the house. So, and as we finish, um, may those words... Uh, just towards the end, uh, remain in us today and each day. And let us take it day by day. I'll read them again. God did, never, God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but a spirit of power and of love and of self-discipline. May we rekindle the gift of God within us. Amen. So Amen. as we face this day, uh, let us remember that we are not of the world, but we are uh, citizens of the kingdom of heaven. That's where we belong. That's where we are. Whatever is going on around us, we are God's people and we belong to him. So let us live that today. Uh, let us remember one another in prayer. Let us pray for one another. And let us remain as people of hope in the power of God's spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So we'll catch up again uh, this evening with, um, with evening prayer. Uh, I understand, uh, I've heard uh, second hand with a radio in the background somewhere that, uh, that the Premier has, uh, the government here, the local state government is shutting down or locking down Victoria today. So all the more we need to pray for one another and remember one another and remain in unity as God's people. So we'll see you later this evening. In, uh, in the meantime... Uh, God bless your day today. Amen. Amen.